Wowzers, what a great time to be a drone enthusiast. Today we have the unique Typhoon H Plus being announced right on the heels of the Autel Evo being announced yesterday and the Parrot Anafi being released last week. When is the last time we've had three major drones uh, released within a week's time span? Really the only one missing to the party is DJI and everybody's saying, oh, is the Mavic Pro 2 coming sometime soon? I guess we'll see. So stick around, we got all about the Typhoon H Plus coming right up. All right guys, thanks for sticking around. This is Kluji Tech Time, I'm David, and today we're all about the unique Typhoon H Plus. Now this is a big boy and it is expensive. It is $1,899 is what they've announced. Uh, it is available today. You can go on their website and order it right now. Now, it's not a small drone like the Anafi or the Evo. It is a big boy. The Phantom 4 Pro is probably its closest competitor in terms of size and capabilities. Now, one of the major features of the Typhoon H Plus is that it has a one inch sensor for its camera. And as we know, these camera drones are all about the camera. Now, the one cool thing that it has going for it that the Phantom 4 Pro is missing is it has a gimbal that can pan all the way around in a 360 degree circle. It's not a 360 degree camera, it's gimbal has movement 360 degrees. So there's gonna be some cool things that you can do with that that you may not be able to do quite as easily with a Phantom 4 Pro. Let's talk a little bit about the specs that come along with that one inch sensor. Now, at a high level, they're gonna sound a lot like all the other drones that have been released here in 2018. 4K, 60 frames per second at 4K, 100 megabits per second data rate. For still pictures, you get 20 megapixels. So you have a competitor to the Phantom 4 Pro there as well, which is really the only cameras out there that really have that one inch sensor on a reasonably sized drone. Now, of course, the Typhoon line of products are hexacopters, not quadcopters. There's a few things behind that. So Unique says that having the hexacopters, so that's six, propellers instead of four gives them extra stability, but it also gives them a little bit of redundancy. Now, one of the reasons behind that redundancy is if you only have four propellers, you lose one of those, you lose all stability. You really can't control yourself. But if you have six propellers, you lose one of those, whether it's the propeller or the motor stops working, you still have stability. So you've got some redundancy built in there. All right, so we already talked about the image and the gimbal, which are really the outstanding features on this aircraft. Now, some of the other features of the aircraft are about a 28 to 30 minute flight time. The transmission distance is only a mile. So that's kind of a letdown. Uh, it's 4.3 miles for the Evo and the Phantom 4 and the Mavic Pro. So only a mile is more like the Sparks distance. So that's something that uh, I think may hold it back a little bit. They really need to uh, increase that if that is accurate. The maximum flight speed is documented as 30 miles per hour and the maximum ceiling, the highest it can go above its takeoff point is 1,640 feet or approximately 500 meters, just like the DJI products. They are using Intel RealSense technology for their object avoidance and tracking systems. What this allows them to do is to build a 3D environment of the world around them to be able to maneuver within that environment and avoid objects. It sounds like this is very similar to uh, DJI's APAS system and the system that Autel has just released with the Evo as well. The remote control is something that is very unique on this particular aircraft. So the remote control actually looks a bit like a 1980s, maybe a modern version of the 1980s boombox. It is big, it is large, and it has a big screen on it. That's where the modern comes in, is it has a seven inch touchscreen monitor on it built in with Android, and that is where the smarts come from. So you don't have to supply a separate phone or a separate uh, tablet in order to fly it. It comes built into the remote control itself. There's lots of buttons and stuff. There's uh, switches to, to move the movable legs and landing gear. It comes with its own backpack that you can carry it in. Uh, it, when it's folded down, and yes, it does fold, the arms fold down, 
not like a one of the other foldable drones like a Mavic Pro or the Evo or, or the uh, Anafi, uh, but it folds down instead of like into the body and that helps kind of keep its footprint down in your backpack. But once you spread those wings, it is a big drone. In regards to the video and picture formats, there's going to be raw images for photos and for video, it'll record in the MP4 and MOV and all the standard frame rates that you would want, 24, 25, 30, 50, 60, all of those that most people are going to be using. For the photo modes, it will be able to do single pictures, bursts, intervals, and panoramas. Yes, it will do panoramas. That will be really easy to do with that 360 uh, gimbal. So those are the major pieces of the Typhoon H+. It looks like a really great camera on a good drone that kind of is going to suffer for only having a mile distance, I think, on it. It's going to be its Achilles heel. But it'll be interesting to see how it plays out in the real world. Can it compete with the Phantom 4 Pro? Will DJI come out with something that's going to eclipse it and really set it behind? Or are they going to succeed with this aircraft? I'm interested to hear what you think. Uh, does it tick the boxes off for what you're looking for in a high-end consumer drone? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful for you guys. If you guys like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. What do you think of this aircraft? Oh, and one other note. I'm going to be on Bill the Drone Reviewer's live feed tonight. So if you're watching this today, check out Bill the Drone Reviewer's channel for a live feed at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Or if you're watching this sometime later, go watch the, the, the replay of it and see what we have to say. I'm sure we'll probably be talking about the Evo and the newly released Typhoon H+. All right, guys, hope you're having a great day. Hope to catch you on another one soon. See you.